so here's a little recording of approaching a fire station on the outskirts of Dudley between Lower Gornal and Dudley and we're on Lower Gornal Test Street so you can see the sign for the fire station coming up and also that there's a dual carriageway ahead, the blue rectangular sign has just gone past and we've got the red and white edged rectangular um, special emergency vehicle lights also used for um, railway crossings. I'm going to be turning right and in front in the road is a red ringed mini roundabout, a white disc, fairly small, but with some red tarmac around it just to accentuate it. And here we're moving across the first part of the dual carriageway and then there's a second give way line. So I'm going to pause here in front of the yellow box junction looking over the head restraints of my front passenger for a clear gap in the traffic. And now that I've got one I can move forwards and probably <coughs> using a right signal there wouldn't have added any value to anybody's decision making. Um, but it is a slightly unusual sort of road junction where the road has been designed to have a greater angle to give you a better visibility to the right. I'm not allowed to do U-turns here so I'll we'll carry on this road for the time being. We're actually on quite a high ridge and that's why the roads off to the left are cul-de-sacs. So I'll find a place to uh, turn around and then I'll go through that same junction in the other direction. I'll probably go down to the little roundabout right by the test centre. See brake signals ahead. Oh no, we've got a crossroads first, that's right. <coughs> Keeping about the tyres and tarmac distance back from the car in front. Red traffic signals on the distance are still on red, so I might as well relax my left foot by putting the car into neutral first, having secured it with a handbrake. And occasionally glancing into my door mirrors to see if anything's starting to develop behind that might catch me up when I'm ready to go. Lights have changed to green, still got brake signals on on the front, three vehicles in front, now they've gone off, I can check my door mirrors and release my handbrake. And I will go to the right. Do my mirrors now signal, got a dedicated lane, a van in front moving out of the way, motorcycle hidden behind. Checking over to the right, one pedestrian crossing the road, moving forwards until <coughs> I've got the centre of the new road lined up with my door mirror and then I can steer glancing finally into my right hand mirror in case there's a motorbike sitting there that wants to cut through the corner. I'll take the next road on the right and then I'll loop around back to that same junction. Slight downhill gradient so it's not enough to stay in gear 2, I might as well go into gear 3. Covering the foot brake now, monitoring the white van behind. I can see one hand of the driver the white van behind on the wheel, but I can't see the second hand, so he might be eating or fiddling with radio or whatever. So that's a bit more of a risk for me, so I'll check a little more frequently. A number of highlighted warning triangles coming up. School children, multiple vans, looking for a gap in the buildings. Thought there might have been a road there on the right, doesn't seem to be. Looking well ahead. Still got a solid curve line on the right, I haven't got a view of the building line. Still a solid curve line, another bend coming up to the left. Now I appear to have a junction on the right, it might be a cul-de-sac looking at the types of buildings. And indeed it doesn't even that road open out onto the road I'm on. I won't turn into Elm Green on the right because it didn't offer its road name look as if it could probably a through road there was a bus stop in that road so it probably was a through road. The uh, red background to the white line down the centre is worth commenting on here. They're thicker white lines than usual. They're the length of hazard lines but they're slightly more wide. And the red background is once again just to emphasise their presence. They're going narrower here at the end of the, the red background. The car in front is turning right. It's called Paul Street so I've got a reasonable confidence that the road does go through somewhere, given that it's called a street. A street or a road or an avenue would go through with a crescent or a close or a grove or um, what else have we got? Um, those are the main ones I think, even if it doesn't say cul-de-sac, they probably don't go all the way through. Pulling up the hill in gear one, a couple of cars, three cars blocking my view on the right hand side doesn't go through, so you can't always rely on the word street. 
so I might as well end that recording there.